Next, thirteenth problem. Thirteenth one. Evaluate integral of x square by root over one minus x power x dx. So now let us say. I is equal to integral x square by root of one minus x to the power of six dx. Here, x square, x square is the part of the derivative of x cube. So, can we see x power six can be written in terms of x cube? Why not? X power six can be written like this. X power six. Can be written x cube over square. If you say x cube is equal to t, now we can solve this problem. What is the derivative of x cube in general? X cube differentiation is 3x square. But here we have only x square. So that means multiply and divide by 3 to get 3x square. So that means first of all multiply and divide by 3. So this can be written 1 by 3 integral of 3x square by root of 1 minus x cube all square dx. Now again, this can be written 1 by 3 integral of 1 by root of 1 minus x cube all square into 3x square dx for our convenience. Now, this put. X cube is equal to t. Differentiate with respect to x. X cube differentiation is 3x square dt by dx. Now differential in t that is dt equal to 3x square times differential in x. So now this is replaced by dt. This is replaced by t. So 1 by 3 times integral of 1 by root of 1 minus t square dt. How does it appear? It is nothing but a standard result. So this is sine inverse t. So 1 by 3 sine inverse t, whereas t stands for x cube. So 1 by 3 sine inverse x cube plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the fourteenth problem, fourteenth one. Fourteenth one. Evaluate integral of two x cube by one plus x to the power of eight dx. Okay. Integral 2x cube by 1 plus x to the power of 8. So 2x cube is the part of the derivative of x to the power of 4. So just like previous problem, let us say i integral of 2x cube by 1 plus x to the power of 4 whole square dx. Now. So x to the power of four is four x cube. So multiply two, divide by two, we get one by two into one by one plus x to the power of four whole square into four x cube dx. So put x to the power of four is equal to t. Differentiate with respect to x. 4x cube equals to dt by dx. 4x cube dx is equal to dt. Now this is dt. This is t. So we can write now. This is equal to now. 1 by 2 integral of integral of 1 by 1 plus t square 
dt. This is a standard result. So, 1 by 2 tan inverse t. What is t? t is nothing but x to the power of 4. Let us replace it. So, 1 by 2 tan inverse x to the power of 4 plus constant of integration. Next fifteenth one, evaluate integral of x to the power of 8 by 1 plus x to the power of 18 dx. This is also similar to the fourteenth one only. This x to the power of 8 is, is the part of the derivative of x to the power of 9. So, how could we write x to the power of 18? that can be written x to the power of 9 whole square. x to the power of 9 derivative is 9 x to the power of 8. So, multiply and divide by 9 first of all. So, let us say solution i is equal to integral x to the power of 8 by 1 plus x to the power of 18 dx. So, 1 by 9 integral 1 by 1 plus x to the power of 9 whole square into 9 x to the power of 8 dx. So, now put x to the power of 9 is equal to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, 9 x to the power of 8 is equal to dt by dx. Now, dt is equal to 9 x to the power of 8 dx. So, this is dx, this is t. Now, this becomes 1 by 9 times integral of 1 by 1 plus t square dt. This is 1 by 9 tan inverse t. What is t? t is nothing but x to the power of 9. So, 1 by 9 tan inverse of x to the power of 9 plus constant of integration. Now, 16th problem. Sixteenth one. Evaluate integral of e power x of 1 plus x by cos square x e power x dx. Now, let i equals to integral of 1 by cos square x e power x into x e power x plus e power x dx. So, now let us check what is the derivative of x e power x. x e power x derivative is that is u v method u dv by dx plus v du by dx x into e power x derivative x e power x plus e power x into x derivative is 1. So, e power x. So, this is the actually derivative of x e power x. So, say x e power x is equal to t. So, we can solve this problem. So, put x e power x equals to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. x into derivative of e power x e power x plus e power x into derivative of x is 1. So, dt by dx. Now, d t equals to x e power x plus e power x into d x. Now, this is d t, this is t. So, now this we can write integral 1 by cos square t d t. From trigonometry, what is 1 by cos? 1 by cos is nothing but secant. So, 1 by cos square t 
can be written as secant square t. So, this is equal to integral secant square t dt that is nothing but tan t. What is t? t is x e power x. So, this equal to tan of x e power x plus constant of integration. 